。好，同学，我们看看这样可不可以哈？那我有同时做了自己的录影，所以如果等一下网路应该不是网路问题，是软体的问题，是那个直播软体的问题，它没有输出适当的 frame 到 YouTube 上去哈。那如果等一下还是有问题的话，我们还我们会，因为我我后来。设定另外一个录影哈，所以如果没有，就是有还是卡卡的话，我我之后会把那个录影，就是我当直接录影的内容，不是传到呃 YouTube 上内容，再 replace 掉 YouTube 的那个影片哈，所以先这样子好。呃、uh, ，so 呃、uh, ，maybe OK， maybe some kind we fix this this problem. It is not related to the network. It's related to the software I used to like do live streaming. Oh,、uh, and at the same time I do. Recording in my own computer. So, uh, if there's something wrong with the live streaming, the the recording, I think that would still be available. If the network problem or the software problem still cannot be fixed, I will upload the record recorded uh video to the YouTube again to to replace the the corrupt one. Okay. So, uh, that's. Go back again, okay, to see the model. Okay, there's important things that you you should you should notice that here we have a、um, very specific things is called embedding dimension. Okay, that means after you do the indexing, which I mean, you replay you you have an entire sentence right, and you have a dictionary with one thousand tokens, and then you replace those. Tokens, the text tokens, by using the index in the dictionary, right? So it looks like this, right? So it looks like this. So after you have such kind of indexing of us to represent a sentence, then you have to further use C bar or skip gram to replace those index sequence. Into a new Latin space, which represent the text. Okay, as we mentioned, as we introduced before, we we introduce C bar and script gram. Right, you input several different words and do the closed text, and the hidden layer, the hidden Latin space can represent the words or the sentence. Right, so here is the index. Right, so right here we have a very specific, very Spatial layers provided by TensorFlow. You simply just fit all those sequence of index into embedding. Then the embedding behind use the the same concept of C bar or skip gram to convert your indexed list to a sixteen dimension of Latin space to represent the words or the sentence. Okay, so. The 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 C bar or skip gram will do automatically for you by using embedding layer. So from now from now on, you input the sequence of index, and then after the embedding layer, the result is sixteen dimension of decimal to represent the original sentence. That's it, and after you have those embedding, and you can do whatever. Structure you like, right here, it is a twenty percent dropout and a pooling and a dropout again and a dense layer to one single value. So that is the sequential model of this example. 好，我们中文再讲一遍哈。最简单的就是一开始一堆英文字嘛，然后你就去设定说你要有十万个英文字，然后最后长度不能超呃每每句话不能超过两百五十个字。所以他就去编了一个十万字的 dictionary 出来，而最后呢，每一个字呢会被 tokenize 之后呢，用 index 的表示。所以这是第八十六个字，第十七个字，第两百六十个字，然后叭叭叭。然后后面零的部分呢就是 padding， 因为我们刚刚设定说一句话是最多两百五十嘛，对不对？那没不足的部分就是 padding， 超过部分就是 discard。好，所以我们现在 input 已经变成这个样子，所以在在此之后，我们就跟 word 再也没关系了。啊，跟 Word 再也没关系了。好，那我们后面通常都会接一个非常重要的东西，是这个，就是、说 Embedding 的 Layer 是由 Ten Tensor Flow Keras 自己告诉你的
，所以你就输入那些 index 给它，两百长度是两百五，然后面有 padding， 好，啊前面就是那些 index 的句子给它，它会跑过所有的 training data， 然后去做什么？去做类似像 C 报或 script grid 那样的东西，它去做 close， 而那些 close 的结果呢，最后会把那句话 embed 成一个。十六，就是 dimension 是十六了， dimension 是十六的数字，所以过了这个 embedding layer 之后，那些两百五十长度是两百五，然后都是 index 那个表示方式就就没有了，因为经过 C b o l 跟 Skip Grand 的那些处理之后，它就会变成一个纯粹十六维的小数点的数字来表示那句话。好，那自此之后就天下太平了，因为字的概念就不见了，现在全部变成小数点数字，可以吗？字的概念就不见了。字的概念在前面那个 preprocessing 是换成 index 的概念，然后在这个 embedding layer 是从 index 的概念再换成纯小数点的概念，用 C b a l 或 Squid Grain， 就用 close 啊，用 close 的那个概念。所以自此之后呢，就一切天下太平。你后面三四五六七要接什么 layer 都无所谓。那因为这个最后做的是那个 sentimental 嘛，对不对？所以是二选一嘛，对不对？所以这里有一个一号的这个，就是最后输出一个一个数字嘛。好吗 ？So basically, a very original data set. You have text-based data set, right? And you have a dictionary by using the preprocessing. So you have the second data set is the index of the tokens to represent the sentence, and then you have the embedding layer. Keras will help you to use close task, C bar or Squid Grain to convert the Index sequence to a sixteen decimal numbers to represent the sentence, and then you can disable your network on your network. So basically, the the only thing you have to design is that. How many dictionary? How many words in the dictionary you want to use? This the size is bigger. Then your 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 words, your tokens will be more reachable, reachable, right? So you can present different meanings. It depends on how, what kind of what kind of application you want to use, right? Second, the length of your sequence is how long is your sentence could be? That is two hundred fifty. Oh, and of course, it depends on different. Application one you use, for example, you want to analyze comment. Two hundred fifty might be a good size, but if you want to analyze a very long system log, two hundred fifty might might not be good enough. You should be use a longer, uh, the longer length to represent your sentence, which is your log. Okay, and third is. What is the length space you we want to use to represent a word or a sentence? Right here, it use sixteen. But from my opinion, sixteen is a little bit small to represent the word because you have many words, many sentences, many comments we like to analyze. Okay, so after that, everything is done. You simply just put all your、uh, it's right here. You simply just compile your model. Okay, because it it is a、uh, Uh, binary class, right? So you we use binary cross entropy, and there's very important things is that from log it equals to two, that means you don't have softmax right or or sigmoid right here. So it will do it by you. The true means we don't have any activation functions at the end of the dense layer. So you say it is log it. Okay, and here we have a matrix is cross entropy. Ah,、uh, by the cross entropy, we have、uh, Adam as the optimizer, and then we simply just use fit, and fit in your training data and the validation data, and then that is, it will try to do a lot of different batches, and for each batches, as we mentioned before, uh, you, we set the batches as thirty two, right? So for each epoch, it every time. It fetch the data. It has thirty-two data point and do the partial differentiation, back propagation. So here is the result. Okay, as we can see, the the result, the accuracy result 
of sentimental classification will be higher, 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 and higher. And of, of course, temp apex, it depends on what, what accuracy level you would like to have. Okay, it has 91% of accuracy for sentimental classification. And then, of course, you can use your test data put into the evaluation model. And then we say, okay, the accuracy of the testing data is 87%. So as you can see that since we have um, test data set by using TensorFlow data set, you can simply just put that data set into evaluation. You don't have to do any kind of pre-processing pre -processing or try to uh, manipulate those data sets. No, you simply just fit the test DS into the evaluation and the result will be like this. So from my opinion, I recommend that you, you put all your data set by uh, to transform it into TFDS, which is TensorFlow data set, which is very convenient for you to do such kind of evaluation. And then, because of course we have history, history is right here. When, when you do the training, okay, we record every steps of their accuracy and the measurement. So we can draw a line like this. That is the training lost. For the epoch, we, for, for the more epoch we have, we can have more, we can have less binary cross entropy value, okay? The, uh, the training loss is the dot and the validation loss is the, the line right here. Of course, you can, you can, <coughs> you can train the data set with even more epochs. I, I believe the loss will become even lower and lower and lower. Okay, and here is the accuracy. I think it will be, become higher and higher if you have more epochs. Okay, so, so I, I think that is. Um, and if you want to save the model, okay, uh, and again, the Keras has a very useful um, where is it? Um, from my opinion, um, I, I think that is good enough. Of course, you can do your model with different layers. For example, look, look at this one. Uh, this one has the uh, a sequential model. It has a vectorized layer as well, and it has a model. But it adds one additional layer, which is a sycamore layer, at the end of the previous model. So it creates another new model. Because if you have activation function right here, the output will be a value between 1 and 0, right? Because you, we have an activation function right here. So make sure. Make sure you notice that the front locket will become false. That means I already has a sigmoid function activation function at the end of my model. So I don't have to, uh, so I don't have, so th this, this parameter need to be set as false. Okay, so and then if you do evaluation of data, then the result will give you accuracy directory. Okay, so make sure you understand that if you have sigmoid or softmax at the end of your model, and this value should be false. Okay, and if you have a new data, something like that, you can simply just put it into your prediction model and the result will be the probability. Okay, because uh, this sigmoid is considered as the probability, right? So right here, the result is like that. 好，我们中文再稍微 review 一下哈，就是说，嗯，因为刚刚那个 model 哈，它最后这边要要注意哈，这这点非常重要，因为它最后这边是 dense， 而且并没并且没有 activation function， 所以它就是任何一个数字，它没有任何 range， 它可以是一百、一百万、五十、三十、负一百，任何的数字哈。那这样这个数字比较不不好用。那当你在做这样 training 的时候，要记得哈，它的这个这个。在 loss 这边要写 true，true true 的意思是说它是来自于一个不是介于小数点的数字，你可以这样想了啊。好，那这样就比较不好用，因为这样等下输出的时候
呃，会比较难用，所以他在后面建建立了另外一个 model， 是他后面再加了一层 activation function 类，然后是 sigmoid， 他就会把刚刚那个奇怪的数字哈，什么 model， 我们刚刚说了，刚刚输入的范围是没有任何界限的哈，会把它压在零跟一之间。那加在零跟一之间之后呢，他这边就要写 false 哦，那这样他等下的输出就会有点像小数点啊，所以这边就会有。呃，就是它的输出位是小数点，所以你随便 given 一个字，它就会直接输出一个小数点数字，就有点像是几率那样的东西，好吗？要记得、哦，如果啊，你这边用的不是这个 export model， 是用那个原先的这个 model 的话，如果你是用原先这个 model 的话，哈，那你出来的这个数字，因为没有过这个 schemoi 嘛，所以它会是一个奇怪的数字，不是加零跟一的数字，这一点要非常非常小心，因为要不然你常常会做错。Okay, I think that is the 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 first thing I would like to share with you. And the second thing I would like to share with you is the second one is imbalanced data. Okay, so、uh, let's take a look at the imbalanced data right here. Let me show you this one. Okay,、uh, you can find the 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 code in in the class website. Okay, it's called classification on imbalanced data. Okay, so、uh, let's take a look. We have some trick to help you to deal with the imbalanced data, especially when the data belongs、uh, when the, when we want to do anomaly detection. Because as we mentioned before in the very、uh, in in the in the first hour,、uh, sometimes the anomaly data. The frequent would be quite less than the abnormal data. Okay, so、uh, sometimes we, we we have to deal with such kind of things. So in this class, okay, it's a credit card fraud detection. It's exactly what we want to do for anomaly detection, right? It has only four hundred and ninety-two、uh, fraud transaction. Okay, it has. Two hundred and eighty-four thousand and eight hundred and oh seven transaction, which is considered as normal. So the 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 this is quite imbalanced. So we would like to tell you how to do some tricks to、um, manage such kind of、uh, imbalanced data when you do anomaly detection. Okay, so、um, I just skip the the very first things. So、uh, the the data is quite simple. Okay, I think it has.、Um, Here, thirty-one different columns.、Uh, although we don't know what exactly it means, but it it really doesn't matter. We just want to show you how to do、uh, in balanced data. Okay, and、uh, how many rows? Uh, I think uh, hundreds of thousands of rows will be right here. Okay, so that is the original data. Okay, and、uh, here here is the statistics of this. Space specific columns, which is okay. Okay, so as as we can see, there are some、uh, class. Okay, so class is right here. Okay, there is a column called class. Class is either、uh, zero, uh, negative, or positive. Okay, that is that is an imbalanced data. Okay, so. The very first thing is that they want to do some normalization and、uh, clean data, but we we simply just skip this part because it is nothing to deal with the imbalance、uh, problem. Okay, we just sim、uh, as 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 I know, let's simply just、uh, normalize some data. So make make sure the data is normalized. Okay, so we we simply just skip this one. Especially, you can use the standard scholar to transform the data to、uh, normalized data. Okay, so that is. Okay, so at the end, the result is like this. Okay, we have twenty nine different columns, and in total, in twenty data set, there are one hundred eighty two thousand and two hundred seventy six samples for the training data. For the validation data, is right here. For the testing data, is right here. But as we know, it is a very imbalanced data. Okay, so let's take at at the uh. Data distribution. I think this is just one of the way to observe data. It has a very nice.、Uh, there is a very very nice、uh, package called SNS. 
Okay, SNS can draw such kind of things. So we, uh, it draws uh, two different features, which is V5 and V6, and draw this draw the distribution right here. Okay, uh, right here. Okay, so here is the positive distribution, which means all the data point right here is positive, and all the data point right here is negative. So we can see that negative data. Uh, maybe the V6 and V5 can help us to to distinguish negative data because in the positive data there are some data that's right at the left hand side. It's a little the distribution of positive data and negative data on V6 and V5 is a little bit different. But that's just some observation. Okay, so uh, right here, okay, we like to do a uh, model. So the model is right here. It it is very very simple. Okay, it's very simple, right? It has a dense layer, 16 neurons. Use ReLU as the activation function, okay? And another, an additional layer is dropped out. 50% of the node will be dropped out. And then, it's quite simple, a dense layer to output only one neuron with sigmoid. So the result will be between zero and uh, one. To specify, it is more close to negative data or positive data, which I, I believe it is um, 0 and 1. I think 0 is negative data and 1 is positive data, okay? So that is, okay? And as you can see that there's a very important line right here, which we, we, we would never mention, we, 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 we never mentioned before, which is the bias initiator, which is right here. And as you can see that here, the BIOS, as we mentioned before, a model can be Y equals AX plus B, right? And the B is BIOS, right? And A is the weight. And of course, there are several different weights, 16 weight in, in right here, right? But there's still a BIOS. And usually we will, we, we don't do much, uh, we don't do much, uh, uh, we don't pay much attention on the on the bias, but here here is a trick. The trick is that we use a specific bias when we train this imbalanced data. Okay, as you can see that okay, the bias is set to be a constant value, and the constant value which constant value the constant value should be provided by the user, which is you. Okay, so in this case, in this in, in this in this example, the BIOS is created by you. And I will tell you what kind of BIOS you should provide when you train this model. It is a trick. Okay? So after that we have a uh, add-on optimizer, we have the learning rate, and it is a cross entropy, it is a binary problem. So we have a cross entropy right here. And here I'm some metrics and here right here um this example want to output lots of different metrics not only the binary accuracy because it's a binary uh classification problem right so basically you can use a matrix like this to output the number of true positive the number of false, po false positive the number of true negative number of false negative. So these four numbers can help us to construct the confusion matrix, right? So you can even ask, ask the, the model to output all the values. So you can see the confusion matrix and even you can output the precision, recall, AUC, PRC. 好,中文讲一遍,就是说这个模型比较特别, 它这边呢一般的 sequential 嘛对不对那就是就是 在意那个B是什么,对不对? 但是这个trick,现在我们要叫这个 
，就真的水全水机嘛。可是在这边我们要在 BIOS 那边做一个手脚，可以吗？在 BIOS 这边做一个手脚哈。好，那 BIOS 怎么算？我们等下再来算哈。那另外一点比较特别的是，在这个 Compile 这边有个 Matrix， 它这边是借了一坨股的 Matrix 哈，这是允许的哈。所以就是说，一般我们在 Matrix 这边不是都输出？ Accuracy 而已嘛，或是 loss 值嘛，对不对？但实际上，在 k i r a s 里面有一坨阿古的 matrix， 什么 true positive 啊、false positive 啊、true negative、false negative， 这就是 configure conf matrix 里面那四个值嘛，对吧？然后你还可以把 precision recall 啊、AUC 啊，这全部都印出来啊，这样你等一下会比较方便，所以你可以参考一下这个写法啊。OK， that that is the setting of these these things. OK， so uh here uh the TensorFlow provides some Uh, information about how how did you calculate the accuracy, precision, and recall? Okay, so just as what we told you before. Okay, so after that, okay, after that, because it is a a more advanced model, so it set early stopping mechanism. So here is a a mechanism provided by provided by Keras, which is early stop. Okay, there are several different. Uh, parameters you have to provide. The early start means um, if I would like to train my training data, for example, one hundred a bug. But as we as we know, every time you have a new a bug, the loss will decrease a little bit more, and the accuracy will get higher a little bit more. But for for long term, okay. Maybe it is not worthy to spend so much time to increase a very very little accuracy or to decrease a very very little loss. So the early start means it will evaluate the things. For example, monitor VALPRC means I would like to monitor the PRC, the precision and the recall value of the validation data set. If If okay, patience means ten. If in ten rounds, the precision and the recall value does not improved within ten rounds, the mode max means it did. Uh, the the later epoch does not has higher precision or higher recall, so the max will not be. Replaced by the later result, then we do early stop. Then we simply just stop the training process because within ten rounds, the precision and the recall value of the validation data set does not get even higher than the previous max value. So then we stop the training process. OK， is that is that clear to you？ 啊，中文就是说，我们如果在十轮之内，你的 precision 跟 recall 在这十轮之内都没有再更高的话，那你就可以停了，你就不需要再 train 了。OK， OK， so that is one of the way to stop the 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 training process earlier。OK。OK， 呃、uh, ，that is the the summary of this model. It's quite a simple one. OK， so um。Let's take a look one thing, okay? Um, here, before you have to notice that we do these things before training, okay? Training is not even start yet, okay? That the above one is just the setting of our model and how do we do early stop and how do we um do the 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 evaluation? We 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 do not even start to train. The model, right? So before we train in the model, okay, this example takes the first ten data point in the training dataset and feed those ten dataset points into the untrained model. 好，中文要记得，我们现在根本都还没有开始 train 哦。我们只是随便先拿那个 train data 里面的识别资料，把它喂进去这个 model， 然后做了 predict。这个还没有被 train 过，所以答案一定是乱糟糟的，可以吗？要先记得这件事情哈。OK， and then you can see that because the model is not trained， so the result is 
it, it, it's, it's a mess, right? Some 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 values, for example, the first uh, data set it outputs zero point sixty nine, so the so it may, means sixty nine sixty nine percent of the uh, of this uh, uh, the probability would be sixty nine percent that the the that that point is uh, positive, and so on so forth, so on so forth. Okay, so uh, here we have a very uh, we have some detail about how to set the initial BIOS in this uh, in this uh, document. Okay, but uh, I would like to show you some tricks right here. Okay, um, the concept is like this: since the model is not trained yet. And the result, it seems like, okay, those values are very close to 0 0.5, something like that. Because the weight is not trained, the rate is random, the BIOS is not trained, the BIOS is random, so the combination of the model is quite random, so the result is quite random. Because at the end of the model is a sigmoid function, right? So uh, they will be compressed between 0 and 1. But think about one thing. The original data set right here, which we, we said, Sorry, uh, uh, it's right here. The original data set has 182,276 uh, data point, right? But if you take a look at this value, only, la only less than 0. Point, uh, only 0.170% of the entire data is it's positive okay it's positive and all the other data is okay it's negative okay so ne we have more negative data okay so that means positive data is is very 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 fielder than the other class so you have to think about one thing the model even if the model is on trend maybe here, right here, right here. Maybe even if the model is not trained yet, the output right here should be aligned with the number of positive samples and negative samples. For example, if I if the positive sample is 99 and negative sample is 1. So it's 99 to 1. The ratio is 99 to 1. So before we train the model, it is reasonable that the output might be 99 to 1, even if it is not trained yet. So in this article, it says, in this article, um, sorry, in this article, it tell, tells us that um, if you want your model to trend, to be trend, to be uh, to be to be trended uh, more quickly and uh, precisely, at the first beginning of the model, you don't need to randomly select those weights and bios because those random weights and bios will make the result to be very very random and as you can see those output will be between 0 and 1 and most of them will close to 0 0.5 so that means at the very first beginning the positive result and negative result Without without trend, you have to notice that without trending, the positive result and the the same the number of positive result and predict negative result, their ratio will be one to one. That does not make sense because the original data set is ninety nine to one or even bigger. 好，中文再讲一遍，就是说，在原始的资料集里面呢，如果呃，那两类不同的 sample 是九九比一的话，就是极度不平衡。好，所以我们刚刚看到是更不平衡嘛，是 
比上零点一七嘛 percent 嘛，对不对？所以是九十九点八三比上零点一七嘛，好，这么悬殊的比例。可是要知道，我们在做那个 model 的时候，在还没有 trend 的时候，因为 weight 跟 bias 都是随机的，所以做出来数字就是随机的。然后过过了 sigma 之后，又是随机的。<咳>那 sigma 会把它压在零跟一之间吗？那因为前面全部是随全随机的 weight， 所以它还有可能在 0.5 之间这样子上上下下。那在全随机的情况之下，通常来说，你在还没有 trend 过的 data 里面 ，model 里面，可能有一半会。大于 0.5， 有一半会小于 0.5， 所以他们出来的在还没有劝过的情况之下，那个两个 class 的比率就应该是一比一左右。所以你现在就可以看到这个状况，大概是一比一左右。可是你知道我们原本的资料集就是比如说九九比一啊，这么悬殊的比例啊，那他要从一比一的模型去拉到九九比一，对吧？因为模型会不断的做偏微分嘛，然后会改变那些 weight 跟 bias 嘛，对不对？然后把它变成九九比一。会花比较多的时间，而且可能会比较不准，所以他的意思是说，这个 trick 的意思是说，我们在一开始的时候就最好让在 model 还没有 trend 之前，就让它是9 9九比一，就是这个的输出就是9 9九比一了，这样子等一下 trend 会比较好 trend， 你们明了这个意思吗？好，那怎么把它变成9 9九比一呢？这篇文章里面有写，它有一个纯数学的公式。是非常统计学的，那我们这边就不不讲了。好，他会最后跟你讲说，你就套套下面的公式，就可以把这个变成9 9比一了，好吗？这是一个 trick， 这是 initial bias 的 trick。OK， so um that is a trick， so that it 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 won't it change the bias， so that initially without training data set， the result will be Similar to ninety nine to one, with respect to the number of、uh, samples in the twenty data set, negative samples and positive samples. Not like this one. This one is totally random bias and、uh, weights. So the result would be like one to one, right? Half of the value right here is larger than zero point five. Half of the data right here is less than. Zero point five, something like that. So here is the、uh, is how do we calculate? How do we do the such kind of things? But it is a little bit too complex. So I simply tell you how to do such kind of things is that、um, uh, the the initial bias we like to add to our neural network is you simply just use this this word, the,、uh, this 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 formula, the number of positive to the number over the number of negative. Pass it through the log value, and right here that is the bias, and this bias should be put into right here. Is right here. That number should be put right, right, right here, right here. So that after you do such kind of things like this, you see, we make a new model. And we provide the initial bias, which is right here. So then you do such kind of prediction again, and you figure out all the values is quite small, is close to zero because in the original <laughs> data set, the sample of zero is much 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 larger. the、uh, the number of the number of samples of zero is much much larger than it. So you can use this trick to make sure. The output right here is very very close to、um, the 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 ratio of negative sample to positive sample, which is right here, zero zero point one three one seven, which is I think it's right here. It's right here. It's close to this value, not one to one. Okay, that is a a, a interesting trick. Okay, so、um, after that, okay, you you have two model, right? Uh, uh, look, after that, your your model is uh, you you have initial the bias, so that is the model. So then we we do um, we simply just do the the training, okay, with twenty apex and do so. Okay, so the above model. 
has zero BIOS. The below model has that specific BIOS we calculate. Okay, so that we can see that. I don't know which color is it. Let me show you. Let me see. I think the orange one is the uh the is the BIOS that we assign by using that specific formula. And the blue one is the random BIOS. I, I believe it it, it looks like this. Okay, so we have zero BIOS, we have a careful BIOS. I think careful BIOS is much better. So initially we will have a lower um starting point and it will lower 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 right so the, the the it's quite useful if you have such kind of unbalanced data imbalanced data that is a trick you have to learn okay it is very very useful okay that is a, a trick number one so uh the following is the, the 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 training process okay and you can see that uh the validation the precision is quite good so that is and that is the result. So after you do after you do such kind of things, you can still draw the confusion matrix, right? So uh, this part is the true negative and the true positive. They should be a larger number. But we, as we can see, that only only a very few um, samples. The you can you can see the ratio is quite quite large. Most of the data will be uh, zero zero data, and then one data would be. Label, uh, data labeled by labeled with one would be much less, but you can still have some uh, capability to distinguish uh, the one, one that one data. This is right here. Okay, so that is the uh, ROC curve. That is AU PRC curve. We can draw those things. Okay, that's the one of the trick. You use the BIOS. You you calculate the BIOS by yourself using that formula and fit it into your model. Your model will overperform by the random model, random weight model, okay? That's the first, first thing you, you, you need to know. And the second thing is right here. Uh, we can calculate some weight, okay? The calculation, the, the re result is right here. The how, okay, the number of negative, one over negative times total divided by two, that is the weight for your class wait for one cup okay uh these two specific weight you have to calculate by by yourself but, but the formula is just like this okay this weight <clears throat> if you don't want to use your own bias and the weight should be put into right here okay when you do model fit there is a specific parameters and you can input your weights, which is 0 0.5, uh, 289.44, right here. So that when we do fitting, when we do training, the TensorFlow Keras will try to focus more on the weight with smaller, uh, uh, the, the, the class with smaller weight. Okay, so after that, the result is right here. Okay, the result is right here. So they can still, so um, the model will try to pay more attention on the result of those smaller classes. Okay, so because the, the, the number is, is, is uh, the difference between these two numbers is, is quite large. So even if, they do not do such kind of attention things. They can, they can still have a very high accuracy because this number is too large. But if you give the model, the, the weight, these two weights, these two weights right here, okay? When do training, they will pay, pay more attention to the, 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 this class, okay? So uh, the, the loss function will be a little bit twisted, okay? Um, so uh, the result will be better, even if you don't do any imbalanced uh, preprocessing or something like that. 
。好，中文再讲一遍，就是说，呃，我们除了刚刚那个 trick 之外，另外一个 trick 是在 fit 这里哈。我们这里可以给一个 cast away， 但 cast away 就直接这样算就好，那就是公式，没什么特别的，它就是这样算的哈。那算出来之后呢，它在 train 的时候啊，它就会。呃，多关注那些量比较少的那些 class， 就是这个72的这一个，因为你要你要想嘛，如果你算 accuracy 的话，很 misleading， 因为你你这些四个四个是四四个数字加起来除以这个五六八三三方分子，这数字已经很靠近九九啊，也就九九 percent 嘛。那它实际上这个 neural network 是可以放弃这个 class 的，就完全不理这这这这三个黑色的数字，因为这个数字大就好了嘛。可是。这样其实不合理啊，因为有时候我们要做 anomaly t e 我们要我们要知道这些小事情发生嘛，对不对？所以它就会略略的改变它的模型的 train 的方式，然后去比较关注这一个，就是要让这一格变高啊，要让这一格变高，那才是这个模型才是真正有效用嘛。如果你这个这三个永远是零，然后这个永远超大 ，accuracy 超大没错，你看这里写嘛 ，accuracy 超大没错嘛，对不对？可是它的 precision 跟 recall 就不会好，因为这边都是零的话，这边就不会好。啊、哦，所以你你做那件事情的话，他会多关注一些，但是这个不是万灵丹、哦，啊你也可以想，就是能用就尽量用。Okay, so that that is the result of this, and of course we have told you about how to do oversampling and downsampling. You can still perform oversampling and downsampling by using、uh, some package, or you 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 can manipulate those data by by yourself. You can randomly sample some data to do downsampling or up upsampling, and then further feed the Uh, sample data, over sample data, or down sample data to the neural network to do such kind of things. Okay, so I think that's I, I, so. Here we have three different types of uh, uh, techniques that can deal deal with um, advanced data. The first one is you use your uh, customized initializer. Second is you use the weight class weight in when you do fitting, and the third is what we 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 talked before. Uh, you use the um, imbalance technique, uh, up sampling or down sampling technique to to deal with the imbalance data. Of course, you can use three of you can try your your imbalance data by using these three different kinds of mechanisms. Okay, so that is the second one. What second one would like to make sure you understand? Okay, the third one is. How do we use a、uh, recurrent neural network to? Okay, how do we use a recurrent neural network to、um, this one? Okay, how do we use a recurrent neural network to deal with text-based data? Okay, and again. Let's just skip the, the the previous one, okay? Okay. Again, we have a bunch of text like this. That's simply just words, sentence, okay? And we have binary classification need to do. So the answer for this example is one and one and zero. Okay. And again, as we mentioned before, at the first beginning, you have to create your own dictionary. So Kira says, "A、uh, text vectorization functions. So you simply,、uh, for example, it,、uh, you can set the dictionary size to one thousand tokens, one thousand words, and you simply just put it all your dataset and convert them to the encoder. So that the result. Oh, so 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 you can see that here is the dictionary used. For example, the first one is empty." Token. The second one is unknown token, which means all the other tokens, which is not right here, will belong to non unknown token. And here we have several different、uh, frequently used tokens right here. So in total, it will be one thousand tokens. We only print the first twenty ones. Okay. So after you put a sample into the encoder, it will become like this. A sequence of index. The index number two right here means this is the second one. So I think that is the one means it is the first first token which is unknown, and zero means that is the zero token. Uh, the the zero is the token which is an empty token. 
right here and also it represents the padding so it's the same oh oh when, when you want to process the text-based data oh the, the 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 processing procedure is all the same first you have to do a red text vectorization to have a dictionary and convert it into a numeric data and then here we use a recurrent neural network to analyze the the sequences of the, the those things okay and of course <coughs> because the dictionary size is, is a little bit small so the original data set uh, the original text might be like this but some un, uh, unusual word or some word which is not quite used often in your diction in your corpus they will be marked as unknown because those words you have only 1000 words so from my opinion if it is a, a new, newer net uh, it is uh, English or some or Chinese or even Chinese the dictionary, dictionary size should be a little bit larger like um, 30,000 something like that okay otherwise you you some words some um, words will, will be marked as unknown when you do such kind of uh, vectorization okay so after that we do embedding right so the first is the input and we do vector text visualization so we have the index of these tokens and then we do embedding okay embedding as i mentioned before we, we do we can use a uh, skip gram or um uh cbao to do close text to 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 find out what is exactly this word means okay so we have an embedding so uh basically embedding is as I mentioned before in the previous example it is done by using this Right, we have Akira's provided embedding there, so you don't have to write your own CBAL or uh, SpeedGram algorithm. You can simply just put all the things in, right in here. So in this case, uh, it output a 64 decimal numbers to represent a word. So basically, it, it has a mapping table. So we can see that, okay, it is an embedding. So uh, five means I want to pick the fifth. result of the embedding so basically you simply just put the encoder right here to convert all the text to a uh, index and put the embedding right here to convert all the index into 62 uh, sorry 64 64 uh embedding embeddings okay so that is uh so uh if you want to use a variable sequence length use make sure you you put mask zero equals to right here so it will automatically pad in zero at the end of your sentence okay so this two part will be very very useful to help you to convert the text into decimal numbers okay so at the end it is quite simple when you want to do um recurrent neural network Keras has several different layers including LSTM, GRU, and here is the hidden neurons in, in, in the LSTM. So that's quite simple. Just simply just stack all the layers in, in, the, in the sequential. And here we have a special layer called bidirectional, which means they fit the text. For example, that was a great movie to the neural network and fit movie great uh was that in that reverse order to the lsm to the new, uh, recurrent neural network so that is called bi-directional it depends on if you want to know uh, if you want the neural network to get more uh, information from the backward so you can use line number eight bi-directional okay on the lstm okay and then they they use a dense neural network with the rule and they have a dense neuron with only one neuron to as the output okay so at the end um, where, where is it okay all, all the others are just some example uh, some temporary example okay at the end here again we do cross entropy and you can see that from log it equals two that means because at the end of this dense neural network 
it has no activation function, right? So it is an arbitrary numbers, not sigmoid numbers or not softmax number. So that is true right here. So if you add uh, a softmax or sigmoid right here, then this value should be false. Don't forget about it, okay? So again, we do binary cross validation. We have optimizer with Adam with this uh, learning rate. We have accuracy right here. So we train the model 10 epochs. We have validation set, blah, blah, blah. And so that is the result. The result like this. Here is the training result, testing re uh, validation result. And of course, uh, this model does not set any early stop mechanism. So we will train third, uh, 10 epochs, okay? right here and of course that is a very simple uh recurrent neural network you can do even more complex recurrent neural network like this one so here uh it has an example right here so after after encoding after vectorize your text after do embedding to convert your words into 64 dimension numbers it stacks two different bi-directional recurrent neural network. One is one has 64 hidden neurons, one has 32 hidden neurons, and so on, so forth, so on, so forth. It depends on your design, okay? There's the important things is that uh, uh, if, your, uh, if your recurrent neural network has need to be appended to another, new, another recurrent neural, neural network, you have to make sure uh, the return sequence is true so that the sequence can be passed to the next uh, recurrent neural network. So that is just make sure you, you make it as true. So that is a more complex uh, neural network. Two layers, two neuro, two RN layers, okay? And the rest of the, the structure is the same. And we'll do the result. And I, I believe the result is a little bit better, right, or, or not. I'm not sure. Okay. And, and anyway, it is a, another kind of recurrent neural network. So, uh, and check out, there is another recurrent neural network, which is GRU we, we introduced uh, last last week, right? So uh, you can replace the LSTM by using GRU, which is a more modern design of recurrent neural network. So just simply just, so simply just use, use, use this one. Okay. Use this, uh, Simply just use this um, example, okay, to analyze your text data. So that is the this example, okay. And uh, I think we have one another example. So the last one should be this one, okay. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, 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 as we mentioned before, we have another language model called BERT, which is more complex which has multiple layers. But in Keras, in TensorFlow Keras, it is quite simple. It's very, very similar to the previous RN example that I showed before. So basically, it is the same, okay? So the, the previous things is the same. We make a training, TFDS dataset, we make the validation, we make the tested dataset. So all the other things is the, exactly the same using TFDS, okay? And then, here is the example of these examples, right? So after that, okay, after that, okay, we can simply just skip all, all, all the things because it's not, okay, here is it. Here is the model we like to build by using language model. So the first thing is, okay, we have an input right here. So that is the original data we input. So here is a keras layer. So we have to do pre-processing. So we, we have a pre-processing layer right here. Okay, so the definition of pre-processing layer, it depends on your, your application. You can do a lower case. You can remove all the punctuation. You can uh, tokenize all the, um, the sentence by using replace certain tokens by uh, unknown token or space, whatever you want to do. So here, here's the, uh, the, the, the actual code is right, I think it's right here. The actual code is right here. So it's depend on 
what 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 kind of uh preparation you would like to do? Basically, lowercase remove certain words is the something you like to do. Okay, so next one is the encoder. Okay, but the encoder right here is a little bit different. The previous encoder we use is the dictionary and the index, right? But Bird has its own encoder. So basically, you you need you own. The only thing you can do is just write what exactly it is right here, because Bird has its own encoder. Okay, so encoder just encoded the input. The encoder itself is like this. Sorry. Um. Okay. So and then. The model is right here. Okay, you have a pull output. So the 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 bird, the bird has a the 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 output of bird. You have to use this output, pull the output to get the output of the bird, and then after that, line eight and line nine. Let. Uh, it's your design. So if you want to use Bird, Bird has a specific writing. Uh, so so you, the only thing you need to write is from line three to line seven. You only that is the only way you you use Bird because Bird is a predefined model and you simply just use it. So it's like this. But after line seven, you can design your own uh, neural network. At line A, nine, ten, or whatever you you would like to use. So depend on your your uh, your your application. It can be a, for example, binary classification. You can it can be a, a multi class classification. It you, you can design your own own cut classification model. Okay. So the previous one, the preprocessing, the encoder, you you just simply just follow what uh, Bert what Bert's layer is. Okay, so after that, you have a, uh, for example, this one is do uh, binary cross entropy, right? And then you have the optimizer, you have the uh, number of steps to train, and so on and so forth. And uh, make sure that because the original BERT was trained by using Adam W, which is another version, another, another variation of Adam optimizer. So you, you have to use this Adam W. So we can combine with the the, the 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 training the optimizer with the original BERT. Okay, so you have to use it, and all the other things is the same. We have an optimizer, we have a loss, we have a matrix here, and we simply just fit all the training data right here and validation data set right here to do the training and evaluate the model. Then the result, and usually the BERT result will be a little bit uh, better than the RN result as we shown before. But actually, the entire Structure is the same. Okay, you do the preprocessing, you do the tokenize, tokenization, and you you put your layer. In the previous RN example, we use LSTM and GRU, right? Right. In here, we use BERT layer, and then you append your own classifier, for example, a, a multiple dense layers to produce the result. And here's the result, right? Here's the result. We have a uh, training loss, uh, validation loss, train accuracy, current accuracy. Something like, and all the other, all the, the rest of the things are the same. We just replace the 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 RN part by using the BERT part. The BERT part is right here. Nothing big deal, okay? Nothing big deal. But however, it it takes more time to do to train the BERT model because BERT model is more complex than a general LSTM or GRU. Okay, so uh, I think that is the all, all, all the all, all the codes I would like to share with you. So uh, if you have time, you can just simply click the run the Google Colab to copy the code to a Colab and run it by yourself on on the Colab. So make sure you understand what is going on by using the 
tax classification, uh, in in balance data, uh, on to perf uh, to run tax class uh, to run class classification to use birds to do to classify tax. Okay, so uh, I think that is. So um. And uh, of course, uh, there are some things I would like to. I would like to make sure you, you know. So I think that is. Um, that is here. Okay. Uh, make sure you you finish your final project and make sure you have. Uh, I I will send the final exam file to you later, uh, after you you upload your final project. Okay, so that will be our last two things need to do the final project. So next week we don't have class, so please finish your final project. And if possible, take a take some time to take a look at this uh, YouTube because it is a uh, it is something that we do not cover in our class. And then we have final exam. Okay, so uh, good luck. Okay, that's all our class in this semester. Um, if you have any questions, just send us some notes or some email to if you have any questions about your finals or your project. And don't forget to to evaluate this, this course on NCCU, i.nccu, this website. Okay, uh, your your opinion or or your 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 comment will be very important to help us to improve this class late in in the later semester. 好，那我们的课程到这边就结束了哈。那呃，记得要写作业，然后写 final project， 写最后的考试。那时间都已经定好了哈，就是网页上都会有哈。那再就是你们要花点时间去写那个频 i i 点 c c u 上面那个课程的评论哈。因为，呃，这个课程一每年来都改一些，改一些，改一些。那我们还是希望，呃，有些长进哈，所以就是同学能够写多写一些建议或者什么的话就写吧。好，那我们的课程就到这边了。有问题就写信吧。OK， that's all。Thank you。Goodbye。